Well, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, Wednesday morning, about 11 o'clock in the east, and I would think they're about to call this presidential race. We're in Baku at a party sponsored by the U.S. Ambassador uh, here at uh, Azerbaijan. And here comes the projection. Really incredible being half a world away for this. Gives you an idea of how important this election is. A lot of excitement here, half a world away. Truly a global election, not just a U.S. election. We saw a lot of interest last week in Doha. A lot of interest here in Baku. Oh, it's a great day. It's a fantastic day. And, and the, the turnout here is amazing. It's early in the morning, but there's a lot of people here, a lot of Americans, a lot of Azeris here who are very interested in what happens in the United States. I think uh, our president, the American president, what his decisions do is affect the rest of the world. And I think it's reflected here today. People are interested in what's going to happen. Now I have your card, you gave me your business card the other day, but just give me your name again and Hatsuki what you do. Zoev, right. President of American Chamber of Commerce in Azerbaijan, at the same time managing director of the McDonald's company in Azerbaijan as well. Why is there so much interest here in Azerbaijan in the U.S. presidential election? I think it's, a, it's not a matter of the interest. I think uh, the result which we're observing today and the fact of the result which we right now observe is that it was very much predictable. Uh, America had a choice between good candidate and very good candidate. And I think this, uh, the fact that uh, America chose the Obama, it opens a great opportunities for the United States for the new period to fully reincarnate the image of the United States on the world, uh, in the world space, in the earth. And it opens a great opportunity in the cooperation with the different nations. Uh, we, I personally is, uh, believe that the Obama can really rebuild and uh, restart cooperation with the different parties in the world, with Latin America, with Africa, on totally different level and start totally new period of the rebranding of image of the United States. So you, you see this more than a, just a U.S. election, you see this as a global election? Exactly, exactly. It's not just a U.S. election, because the, for the last period, unfortunately, United States image was very much destroyed due met too many problems due to a lot of wars due to the world crisis and the, which started mainly from the United States I think that the fact of the uh, Obama's orient and the connection with the different nations is opens a great opportunities for the different countries in the world to real look rebuild their relations with the United States on a totally different level good so it's not an election for the United States. I think it's an election for the global uh, opportunity. Right. Looks like he's going to come out and speak, so let's go watch it then. Thank you. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy. Tonight is your answer. I want to say, um, as an Indian American, not an African American, not a Mexican American, as a person of color in the United States, it gives me a brilliant boost of, I don't know, inspiration to possibly enter politics. Um, maybe, I don't know what's in store for me within the next 10, 20 years, but I really seriously, after having woken up this morning to a new black president of the US, given a, a future political career serious consideration. And now it's a little bit after nine o'clock, Wednesday morning here in Baku. Rush hour traffic is uh, well on its way. People on their way to work. And as am I, it's been a great day. Got to talk with Chelsea and Vanessa and Roberta this morning. Pretty emotional time. Happy to be here. Really didn't feel like I was far away at all.